How's it going, everybody? So today I want to talk about something that I think is one of the most important topics to discuss in a competitive first-person shooter, and that is skill-based matchmaking in a ranked system. Now, most of us would agree, and, I, and this is certainly my opinion, that the fact of the matter is that having skill-based matchmaking in a ranked system is inherently bad for the game. So I'm making this video because two of my friends and I, Nikki T and Grumsky, friends of the channel, uh, are all silver four or below in the finals ranked as of the making of this video. The other night in our ranked lobbies, we were going up against top 250 ranked diamond players. And this is something that cannot be a thing moving forward if the finals is going to have longevity as a legitimate competitive first person shooter. And so to clarify, we know this person was top 250 because he was one of those players that had TTV, YouTube, you know, all the all the socials in his name. And so we hopped into his chat and said, hey, what rank are you? And he says, oh, I'm number 230 in the world. And we're like, oh, cool. Uh, great. And then we went on the leaderboard and found him. And he, in fact, was right around that top 230, 240 uh, range. Now, of course, yes. Yes, it's early. The game came out, what? two weeks ago. So certainly I will give them a pass for now. Shorter queue times, uh, not enough players even have ranked unlocked, are at a high level of rank. And all these are reasons why for now they have implemented skill-based matchmaking into ranked. However, if this continues to be the matchmaking system they use for ranked, it is going to be a very big issue and this needs to be addressed now because if they don't plan on changing it we're headed for apex 2.0 the new matchmaking system in Ape in ranked apex that doesn't base your matchmaking on your rank it bases it on your hidden mmr your hidden skill that incorporates your kill death ratio win percentage even things like movement how you're moving around the map how you're taking gun fights it incorporates all this hidden skill that you will never really know about and that's what it uses to match you with other players in your ranked lobbies now i mentioned shorter queue times i and most other people would agree that longer queue times are not a bad thing whatsoever my friend nick pointed out the top level valorant players consistently sit in queue for 30 plus minutes because they aren't able to be matched with lower ranked players and this is a good thing they earn the right to be in a top level lobby and since the nature of a skilled activity is that less players will be in the top one to five percent of that activity or in this case the video game there should be longer queue times in no world should a silver player be matched up against a diamond player the old apex rank system was actually great because as a good as a uh, good player you would fly through the lower ranks and those lower level players would never see you again for the entirety of that ranked season now no matter your rank you're playing players of a similar skill based on what i uh, mentioned before this hidden mmr garbage that makes the games less fun while attempting to make everything super even playing field. Is it appropriate to group, say, the top two or three ranks together? I think yes. The, the answer is yes to that question. In the finals, platinum and diamond players should play against each other because they've both reached a high rank. For the time being, even throw high-level gold players in there until more players reach the highest levels. But once enough people have reached the highest levels of ranked, shut skill-based matchmaking down. Make it a true ranked system where bronze plays bronze, gold plays gold, and diamond plays mostly diamond and occasionally platinum players. The argument that there's not enough people playing the game is not true. Every single day on Steam alone, the game has had more than 100,000 concurrent players, often almost 200,000 concurrent players. And with console thrown into that mix, there are hundreds of thousands of people playing this game. Another point we need to discuss here is the transparency. Where, where has the transparency gone in competitive ranked gaming? So here's the deal. I'm a big boy. I grew up playing old school MW2 lobbies with open mics. So uh, show me everyone else's rank. In every ranked lobby, I should be able to hit tab and see everyone else's rank. I should be able to see the rank of the person who killed me and the person who I killed should be able to see my rank. It is absolutely ridiculous and childish that developers are gatekeeping people's rank 
because of one reason or another. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know why. I, I really don't know why they don't show it. Is it because people don't want to see that their skill-based matchmaking is broken and that they're being placed into lobbies against top 1% players? Uh, I mean, maybe. But listen, uh, like I mentioned, I'm a big boy. I clicked on Ranked Tournament for a reason. Because I want to see how good I am compared to other competitive players in this game. I can handle seeing other people's ranks. Trust me. If someone can't handle that, there's casual game modes to play. And, and for that matter, other games you can play that are much more relaxed. And that's a good thing. Please, show me everyone else's rank. Another good point that Nick made was, what is the incentive to grind if you're being placed into the highest rank based on your hidden skill? not the rank you earn. So, it's like I mentioned, my friend Nick and Grumsky and I are all silver four players or below right now in the finals. What's the point of us even wanting to get into diamond if we're already playing against top 250 ranked diamond players? What's the point? Like, we're, we're already in lobbies that include legitimately the highest ranked players in the game. So if we already know that, then what's the point? What's the point of us trying to get there? We're already playing against the highest. You, you can't even use this argument of, you know, just get better is null and void because you're already playing the best. So it doesn't matter. Now, we need to talk about the casual player base, of which there is a big one. There's a substantial casual player base in, in popular first-person shooters. So their argument is, okay, you know, I'm a casual player. I play twice a week and don't want to face sweats in every lobby. It's a great point, and I totally agree with you. Skill-based matchmaking should be used in casual lobbies, not ranked, because if you're a lower skill player, you shouldn't have to play against people with hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of more hours of playtime than you, and you might not even be interested in ranked, and you just want to play a fun game. What's going to happen, undoubtedly, is that people are going to catch on and realize that in their lower level lobbies, there's people who are really, really, really good. We, we were able to see, we, 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 uh, my friends and I all have the battle pass. And we looked through the battle pass to see the rewards at the end, the cool rewards at the end of it, right? And we noticed uh, all of a sudden in our lobbies, we're getting uh, paired and matched up with people who have all of the end of battle pass rewards. We're like, that's interesting. You know, maybe they bought levels, you know, maybe they just grinded in casual and played a lot. But no, these ended up being top 500 platinum, high level platinum, mostly diamond level players. And people are going to start realizing that, and it's going to turn a lot of people off uh, playing ranked. And if people can't play a good ranked game, that like uh, here's here's the just the, the truth. Ranked is why Apex got so big and stayed so big for so long. People want to have some kind of reward for them getting better at a game, for them becoming more skilled at a game. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense for just you know, to, you to get good at something and nothing happened. They want a ranked re reward. They want to have proof that they can show off in whatever way that they got good at this game. And when people realize that they're playing, say they've played the finals ranked for 50 hours or so, they're kind of hard stuck in gold and they really can't figure out why because they should be playing against gold uh, ranked players and nothing's happening, they keep getting knocked out first or second round, and all of a sudden they start understanding and realizing that it's not because they're playing gold players, it's because they're playing diamond players. Like, the, the way the system works now, that's what's going to happen, because an emphasis on shorter queue time seems to be a thing, when really an emphasis on playing against your own rank should be the thing, should always be the thing that takes priority in a ranked system. Now, that was my little rant on everything. Uh, I, I recorded some footage the night uh, this happened to us of my friend Nick and Grumsky and I, and I'm going to have that here at the end. It's it's the, it's the it's, it's more of a podcast format here at the end. Uh, going to be a longer video today, but I think this is, like I said, a very important discussion to have because if this isn't addressed now, it's going to lead to them not thinking this is an issue and nothing being changed down the road. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. The the issue is skill-based matchmaking. The game's fucked. It always has been, always will be. It <laughs> yes. it's it's what's turned Apex into not a dead game yet, but it's what's turned Apex into a dying game. And now that it is confirmed that the finals has SBMM because I'll pull it up in the patch notes. 
hidden. Um, hidden. Hit, yeah. I think that's an important. Yeah. Well, it, well, yeah. I think it's. I don't think. I don't think it says hidden, but it it is. Like mm, it is hidden. Yeah. An update to skill based matchmaking, right there. So they updated skill based matchmaking. It doesn't say hidden, but it is hidden because we didn't know what Ranky was. Right. Yeah. There's there's no and way so of. We looked. There's no way. Yeah. Well, and you still you, you, there's no way of knowing. Like that is correct. In the yeah. in the in the old days of Apex, you used to you could see who killed you, you could then watch them and see what their rank was. That's no longer a thing. So it's hidden SPMM. That's not a thing in the finals. You can't see anybody's rank. It's all just you know their stats on the screen. Well, yeah. So then I mean, then then that brings in the point that like these streamers that are top five hundred that we you know sure. see in our games, and we go into sure. their chat and they're like, well, it shouldn't really matter, but you just get better. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. That just doesn't bode yeah. well with the normal community that is in bronze and silver yeah you especially can't say my get case bronze where i'm playing with two silvers and they're like get better what the, the, yeah. what the, that doesn't mean anything because, because the, like if because, i'm already playing against platinum people or diamond yeah. people it like there's no way for me to get better because i'm already playing against the top people so it doesn't make any sense for me to get better yeah and they're missing the they're that. missing the point too and they say that because if you because the whole point of a rank system is to know what rank you are and what rank you should yes. be playing at and so whenever you and i and nick as a bronze and silver are playing against the top level in the game it's like it's like exactly what we, right. what, what, what we already talked about like nick said like there's no incentive and also, you, exactly. you you'll never know what your real rank is either. Exactly. Yeah. So that's yeah, and I've seen wild. plenty of, especially Valorant streamers, yeah. sitting is in the, queue with like a three stack for mm -hmm. like thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Is there like, do you still keep up with Valorant at all? Like the Valorant ranked anything like I that? I haven't in a while. But... Okay. Was there ever any like big complaints with that rank system? Like, do you know it pretty well? Because I don't really know anything about the Valorant rank system. No, it was it seemed like accurate. All the, uh, like, if you were good at the yeah. game, you just ranked up. Yeah. Right. My question is, like, have we ever gotten an answer from from game developers as to why SBMM is such a big thing across the board nowadays? I think probably the biggest motivator is just fairness. Right. You know, like, it, it probably was stemmed from, like, all these like low level players getting home from work, hopping on, yeah, and then complaining about getting dunked on every time they play. Mm -hmm. um, I so mean, I think it's just like to promote playtime for casual players, right? And so, actually, uh, I mean, if you think about it yeah. that way, SBMM kind of makes sense for for non ranked play, then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it kind of does make sense. Well, yeah, I mean, I also I do feel like. Um, for that reason alone, SPM SPMM has its place in like quick play, right? Casual play. There's nothing wrong with that because, like, you know, that's like even for the hardcore player, that's your warm up mode. So you might yeah, it's not a big deal. Thrown in with people similar skill. Um, but once yeah. you get to rank, that should be thrown out the window. It should be the rank that you have yeah. played to earn. Yeah. Every uh, rank. Yeah. yeah. Every rank. Uh, league in any competitive game should be entirely rank based. It shouldn't be. Yep. It shouldn't be skill based because, like, your yep. your your rank should reflect your skill, and it exactly. shouldn't it shouldn't be whatever hidden junk. Yeah. 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 Now, like, I mean, definitely in Apex, and it, we're starting to see it in, in the finals. Like, rank doesn't reflect your rank doesn't reflect your skill at all. Yeah, it's, it's kind of wild. At this point, you know, like there is the argument that it could be because so few people are so high level. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the, like we've said, the game has a hundred k players consistently every up day to two hundred k. Yeah, um, and it's a very competitive it, shooter. Like it's it's it, the nature right. of it is a competitive shooter. At this point, the top level players don't need to be queuing with bronze, right. silver. Right. Right. Um, there's definitely enough to gold or above, even plat above. So yeah, this is something we definitely have to like keep an eye on because like, if if in a month it's the same issue, I don't know where we'll be ranked in a month, but like, that's that's gonna be it's then, then there's not gonna be a change, and it's that's just how the game's gonna be. Right. Yep. You know, which ain't great. Oh, it's just such a damn good game. <sighs> yeah, it, it, it'll it be needs to stay good. It'll be a 
real shame. Yeah, and it's like we said before, uh, you can argue all you want, but that is why Apex is struggling. It's because rank doesn't matter, and when when a game when a competitive shooter has a rank system that doesn't matter, people aren't going to watch. First of all, and they're not going to play. Second of all, yeah. Mm-hmm. My hope would be that they're keeping quiet about it in plans to remove it once they have enough once high they level ha- players. Yeah, but if it's integrated within the code, I don't know. I don't know what that means to be honest. I think that's just a fancy way of saying yeah. in the game. Yeah. But yeah, who knows what the plan is? Mm-hmm. But it won't take people long to realize, because you know, like you, you caught it really quick, Nick. You said, "Oh, we have some grinders here. These guys have like finished the battle pass." Like you caught it yeah. quick, and so, and that's like yeah. really noticeable, because you see these late, late battle pass rewards that players are wearing, and then, mm-hmm. yeah, and then it turns out he's top two hundred and fifty player, right. and people yeah. are going to notice that, and people are going to be like, "Why the hell?" I, I, I'm level 25 in the battle pass, and I'm playing in like you know silver and bronze. Why the hell am I playing against a guy who's unlocked the battle pass and really good? Yeah, he's got the whole goddamn yeah. alien skin Pe- on with the black wings. Yeah, people are gonna notice that. Like not not as quickly as we did necessarily, but, but like that's gonna be a thing. And I guarantee yeah. you, if they don't change it, this is gonna be the talking point with the finals. It's Apex all over again. Like it re- it will be. It absolutely will be. Like anyone who cares about the health of a game, right is going to care about that. Right. Because it directly affects player counts, which directly affects like everything in the game. <laughs> if the player count start yeah. to, starts to dip, there's less incentive to put new stuff in the game because less people are going to buy it, especially when it's a free-to-play game. And it spirals. Like It actually spirals. It can, exp- it can spiral pretty quick. It's like you sit down at a really nice dinner table yeah yeah with yeah, yeah all yeah. your favorite foods on it bunch of bunch of chili chili uh, chili yeah, cheese chili, bunch of chili cheese bunch of ba- ba- medium ba- rare steaks galore potato, a roast beast patch patch sour yeah. patch potato all patch. the great foods uh, yeah, and yeah, you, yeah you can eat anything you want okay but you have to spray your mouth with pam cooking <laughs> spray first <laughs> For a couple seconds, not just yeah, like a hold quick spray. it down. Yeah, <laughs> you're forced to do something and have something done to you that you don't want to in order to enjoy the good thing, which you then cannot really enjoy. Right. Exactly. Exactly. That's a good analogy. Thank you. Good analogy. 